what's going on guys welcome back to the channel this is a 2012 club car president this belongs to my oldest daughter's uh, friend and her family and they reached out to me this week and they said we just want your opinion before we carry it to the shop they said sometimes when they're driving the golf cart will just automatically quit driving the pedal will be pressed down and it just won't go I said sometimes you go hop on it and it won't go at all but you mess with the pedal long enough and it'll go a little bit and then it'll just stop and i said well sounds like something could be easily fixed they were going to carry it to a shop and the shop quoted them like 475 dollars to fix the problem they said uh, you bring it in, we're going to diagnose it, we're going to fix it, and uh, you pick it back up $475. And I was like, eh, I don't know about that. But hey, if you want to carry something to a shop and pay that kind of money, so be it. Um, I told him, I said, or just give me some time, I'll try to swing by, pick it up. This was yesterday evening, got home last night, it was pouring rain. And uh, so we're going to try to take it off of the trailer for the first time. Um, I did put it into the tow mode. I did put it in the tow mode when I put it on a trailer and when I turned it off as well. So let's see if this thing will back up on its own or not. Um, it went up halfway on the trailer last night or yesterday evening and we had to push it the rest of the way. So it's on. You know we have power. There it goes, see there? I had to press the pedal a couple of times. And there it is. So this is a little 2012 Club Car President. And what they were trying to tell me over the phone was, as they're driving it, sometimes the cart would just, like it falls out, like there's no power or nothing. Now it sounds like an M-Core to me. That's what we're gonna replace today is an M-Core on this little uh, golf cart here so I can deliver it back to them. I'm pretty sure that's the only problem that's wrong with it, but if it isn't, we'll look for some more things as well. So let's get this right here into the shop and I'll show you exactly what we're gonna do with it. Look at there, it won't go now. It won't go on forward either. That's got to be an M core issue. So let's put it back into the tow mode and let's get it back into the shop. Now to gain access to the motor controller regulator, first we need to pull up the mat here. The best way of doing that is pulling off either side of the two bolts on the driver's side or the passenger side side panels there. These bolts here are going to take a T40 Torx bit. Once you have those removed, you can just pop off the side here just so you can gain access to the cover itself and pull it out. Go ahead and remove this rubber mat here from the cart. Next, you're gonna need to remove, there's gonna be two Torx bit uh, screws over here on the passenger side, two on the driver side. Next, I'm gonna take a T30 Torx to the driver side. We're taking a T30 to the passenger side bolts. These are actually going into plastic. All right, so once you get all four bolts out, you can go ahead and lift up your brake pedal assembly group here. 
This is going to be the M core. That's what we're going to be replacing. There's going to have two clips that's going to hold it in place and these two plugs as well. To remove the plugs, we're just going to lift up on the, lift up on the tabs to remove those. Pretty simple. So this is the M core we're going to be replacing it with. This is by 10 LOL. And I'll place a link in the description below where you can find these. You're going to have two clips. There's going to have a clip here and a clip over there. And basically it has a little latch on it. So you want to push them in and pull it up or pull it out on both of them there. There's one. The last one's going to be back here. Once you get those clips off, it just comes out of place just like that. In order to install the new one, it's going to go right back in the same spot. After you have the new M core in, you can go ahead and plug the harness back up. It's only going to go one way on the harness. You have one with three pins, on the other you have one with two pins. Just like that. Place it back in the uh, cart and go ahead and put your bolts that holds it back in place. And basically you're done. Then after you get this right here far, you go ahead and put the floor mat in. And essentially you're done. Alright guys, so we can put the golf cart in the own position now. And it works as soon as you hit the throttle. Very, very simple install. We're going to run it up and down the road one time. They said it was uh, cutting out when you was actually riding it, but when we were trying to take it off the trailer, it wouldn't even go at all. Uh, windshield here it's uh it's got some condensation on it it was just sitting in the garage with air conditioner and it's really hot outside that's what a windshield looks like it does put it in reverse everything's fine the only thing that i had to do that was a little bit different than most is in the uh, floor pedal here it has four bolts in there Two on the driver's side are going into the frame. Two on the passenger side is going into plastic. One of the plastic bolts was already wallowed out, um, so it was stripped along with one of the driver's side uh, bolts that actually went into the frame of the golf cart. So I did have to cut those bolts off and I just replaced them. Uh, that's the only thing I did there. So if you're wondering about that last shot where it looks like I cut it, I did have to cut that bolt out. but. Nine times out of ten, you probably won't have to, but this golf cart here belongs to a beach town, and the bolts on the president's about the only thing that will rust out. So, but anyways, this right here president is done. It's just you know we have to swap an import.